The pyramids of Guimar are six rectangular pyramid-shaped terrace structures constructed from lava stone without the use of mortar. These pyramids are located in the district of Chacona, part of the town of Guimar on Tenerife, on the island of Tenerife and the Canary Islands. It has been long uh, um, controversy regarding dating these um, pyramids, but um, these structures have been dated to the 19th century. And some researchers believe that they may originally have been a byproduct of contemporary agricultural techniques. As I mentioned, opinions differ on them. These pyramids stand as high as 12 meters. There are also other pyramids that use the same methods and materials of constructions, and they also can be found in various places on Tenerife. In Guimar, as you can see it here, there are the pyramids of Guimar. So in Guimar itself, there were nine pyramids, but only six of them survived. As I mentioned it before, there are different uh, hypotheses regarding the pyramids of Guimar. In 1990, the publisher and uh, adventurer Thor Heyerdahl, the Norwegian, uh, became aware of the Canarian pyramids after he read an article written by Francisco Padron in the Tenerife newspaper Diario, Diario de Avisos. Diario de Avisos. And there it was detailed as real pyramids on the Canaries. Heyerdahl's hypothesis was a transatlantic link between Egypt and Central America, and he became intrigued by the Guimar pyramids and relocated to Tenerife. He did research on possible parallels between the Canarian terrace structures and pyramid structures in Egypt and Central America in pre-Columbian Mesoamerica as ceremonial areas. Heyerdahl hypothesized as well that the Canarian pyramids shaped a temporal and geographic stopping point on voyages between ancient Egypt and the Maya civilization, initiating a controversy in which historians, archaeologists, astronomers, and those with a general interest in history participated. Juan Antonio Belmonte Aviles, Antonio Aparicio Juan, and Cesar Esteban Lopez, researchers of the Canary Institute of Astrophysics, demonstrated that the long sides of some of the terrace structures of Guimar mark the direction of both solstices. The main limiting wall point, points to the sunset in the summer solstice and the pyramids have stairs on their western side which face the direction of the rising sun on the winter solstice. Also, when one stands on the platform of the largest pyramid on the day of the summer solstice, it is possible to experience a double sunset as first the sun sets behind the mountain top, then it emerges again from behind the mountain and sets a second time behind the neighboring peak. However, considering the room for interpretation, it is impossible based solely on these observations to conclude what was the, the intention of the builders or the building date. On the other hand, in 2005, a book was printed and published in Spanish by Aparicio and Esteban titled 
The Pyramids of Guimar, Myths and Reality. In that book, Aparicio and Esteban suggest that the solstitial orientations of the pyramids were potentially motivated by the, the Masonic symbolism. Both of them argue that solstices are very important in the symbolism of Freemasonry and hence the owner of the land in the epoch in which the pyramids were built was himself a Freemason. So basically it was their hypothesis. And further, this motivation would be only an aesthetic one, according to them, and would not modify in any rate the fundamental motivation, agriculture, and data of construction. Between 1991 and 1998, with the agreement of Tor Heyerdahl, archaeologists of the University of La Laguna, Departamento de Prehistoria, Antropología e Historia Antigua, conducted a number of excavations of the site. And in 1996, the results of the 1991 excavation were presented by the archaeologists at a colloquium and later published the results in 1998 and these provided evidence for the dating of the pyramids. According to the preceding geophysical georadar survey, eight locations close to the pyramids, each with an area of 25 square meters, were investigated in layers down to the sol solid lava floor. In doing so, it was possible to establish three specific sediment layers, starting from the top, these were a layer of thickness averaging 20 centimeters, consisting of humus-rich earth with many plant remains and roots, tracks from ploughing were clearly identifiable, as were a broad spectrum of readily datable finds from the second half of the 20th century. Then, a layer of thickness averaging 25 centimeters that was similar in composition to the first layer was also detected. However, it contained less humus and a larger amount of small stones, a large variety of finds which could be dated to the 19th and 20th century. And then also an official seal from 1848 deserves particular mention the finds. And then number three, the third layer, a layer of thickness between 25 to 150 centimeters uh, made out of small volcanic rocks were also found, most likely put in place in one movement which leveled the uneven stone underneath. The stones contained only very few finds, mostly a small number of pottery shards of which some was local and some imported. Both kinds were roughly estimated as belonging to the 19th century. The, the earliest dating, according to uh, the colleague from La Laguna University, archaeologists, uh, the earliest possible date of this construction was within the 19th century. Uh, additionally, under the border edge of one of the pyramids, a natural lava cave was detected and discovered, and it had been walled up and yielded artifacts from the uh, time of the Guanches. Since the pyramids lie, uh, lie above the cave, the Guanche finds from between 600 to 1000 uh, Anno Domani can only support conclusion on the date of human use of the cave. The bow survey shows that the pyramids themselves cannot be older than the 19th century. However, Heyerdahl suggested that the structures were not haphazardly piled up stones. He further maintained a belief in the hypothesis that the pyramids were connected with guanches until his death. The association of the Guanches and the pyramids continues to be elaborated upon both in Pyramid Park and its official website.
As I mentioned in the beginning, there is also a controversy regarding dating the pyramids. And when you come here uh, to this site, there is all, I mean, you can read that dating lava or lava stones is very, very difficult and not impossible. So the controversy regarding dating of these uh, pyramids is still going.